Today, we are going to learn how to add. That's right, we are going to learn how to add, but we're not going to add in decimal. We are going to add in hexadecimal. And the example that we are going to do today is the hexadecimal number 6DE9 plus FAB. And so I am going to take you through this right now. So let's write down our hexadecimal digits. Now remember, hex is six and des is 10. So there has to be two things. There has to be 16 digits and the place value system has to be based on powers of 16, namely 16 to the zero, 16 to the one, 16 to the two, etc. So our hexadecimal digits are zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, and F. And remember that the decimal equivalent of the hexadecimal numeral A is 10, and B is 11, C is 12, 13, 14, and 15. But there are actually 16 hexadecimal digits because the zero does in fact count as a digit. So that's really our first step in doing any kind of a hexadecimal uh, problem is to write out the digits. The next thing we need to remember is the place value system. So 16 to the 0, 16 to the 1, 16 to the 2, 16 to the 3, right? And so these are the places. And so anything to the 0 power is always 1 and anything to the first power is always 16. With, with, this, with the number to the zero power, of course, it's a non-zero number. 16 squared is 256, and 16 to the third is 4096. Let me just make sure I remembered that correctly. 16 to the third power is 4096. Okay. So the numbers that we want to add is 6DE9 plus FAB. Okay. And this is actually very, very simple. So the first step is to add 9 plus B. So let's do this over here. 9 plus B. Now, B is base 16, and the 9 is also in base 16. This is the same thing as 9 base 10 plus, now, now I don't remember what B is in base 10, so I'm going to go up to my handy little chart over here, and I see B in base 10 is actually 11. All right. So B is actually 11 in base 10. So if we add 9 plus 11, what we get is 20 in base 10. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to decompose. Now, that's the actual word, decompose. We want to decompose this 20 as 16 base 10 plus 4 base 10. Now I want to ask I want to ask you or maybe you should ask yourself why would this guy do this? Why would this guy take 20 and represent it as 16 plus 4? Where on earth did this 16 come from? Why would he decompose it this way? Pause the video for a second and think about why he would take the 20 and write it as 16 plus 4. Welcome back. So if you said to yourself, well, of course, he's working in base 16, and we know that there is a 16's place. See that over here? See how there's a 16's place? 
since the guy knows that there's a 16's place, he's going to decompose this des this this number. Oh, and I'm sorry, this this is um, not base 16. This is base 10. Made a little mistake. <laughs> Hope you caught it. But if you didn't, that's okay. So he says, look, he has this number 20 in decimal. And he wants to encode this into hexadecimal. He knows he has a 16's place and a 1's place. And so since he knows that, he also knows that this is going to be equal to 1, 4, base 16. So that's sort of an important idea, is that the decimal number 20 is equal to 1, 4 in base 16. Now, we don't say 14. It's not a 14. A 14, that number only exists in the decimal system of numeration. So we don't say 14. We say 1, 4 base 16. This tells us that there is one 16, which is this guy here, and four tens, which is this guy here. Okay, now how do we use this? Well, we put the four over here and we carry the one, just like you did in second grade in decimal. But now you're probably in college. If you're, if you're using my channel, I'm a college professor. So if you're using my channel, I set these videos to be over 18 because they're really meant for college students. Okay, so that's really our first step here. Our next step is to add 1 plus e plus a. So 1 base 16 plus e base 16 plus a base 16, you know, because this is hex. All right, now we're going to do this in, now if you lived on a planet where hexadecimal was the normal way you did business and, you know, your bills were in like hexadecimal and, you know, you might have an E dollar bill or an A dollar bill, you wouldn't need to convert this into decimal. But I don't live on such a planet, and I'm not a computer scientist that deals with hexadecimal. You know, I, I haven't memorized my addition tables in hexadecimal. If you were on the planet that used hexadecimal, you would, just like you know 6 plus 4 is 10 in decimal, you might know what E plus A is, but I don't, because I don't work in hex normally. So I'm going to convert this into base 10, and this is 1 base 10, Plus, now I have to go to my little chart and I have to see that E is actually 14 in base 10. I don't have this memorized. And I have to go into my little chart and I have to see that A is actually 10 in base 10. So when you add up 1 plus 14 plus 10 in base 10, we get 25 base 10. All right, just pencil. So what we need to do now, besides find another pencil, which I did, is decompose this the same way, right? 16 base 10. And then what you can do is you can take the 25 minus 16. You could do this on the calculator if you don't want to do it by hand, you know and you get 9 base 10. So we did this, th th again, this is called a decomposition. This is called a decomposition. And so I decomposed this as 16 plus something or other. And now you know from the last step that because it's base 16, that's what hexadecimal is. And we know we have a place <laughs> to put a value in, in the 16th place. This is how we do it, you know? So this is actually equal to 1, 9. Oh, and this, I wrote 16. That's a mistake. I hope you caught that. You know, I'm not doing this from a PowerPoint. You know, I'm doing this just the way I would do it in class, you know, that's how I would teach my students, you know. 
So this is 1, 9, base 16. Now, I want to call your attention to the fact that you always do this decomposition this way. See how this is base 10, this is base 10, this is base 10, this is base 10. 16 base 10 will give you a 1 in the 16's place. It always works like that, right? So just like we did before, 9, carry the 1. See how simple it is? Now, what do you think we're going to do next? Well, now, <laughs> let me put a little line here just to separate these so it doesn't look ugly. So now we have to add 1 plus D plus F, base 10, plus, oh, actually, you know what? Let's stay in base 16 and do it the same exact way. So 1 base 16 plus D base 16 plus F base 16 is equal to 1 base 10 plus, now I don't know what D is. I have to look it up on my little chart. It's 13. And F, I actually do know that F is 15. Um, but even if you don't, you just go to your little chart and you see F is 15, you put it in. All right. And so what you do is you add up 1 plus 13 plus 15, and what you get is 29 base 10. 29 base 10. And now we have to decompose this again as 16 base 10 plus 29 minus 16 base 10. And 29 minus 16 is 13. So here, to convert this into hex, 16, we have a place for that. Isn't that great? And what is 13 in hex? Well, I don't have it memorized. I go up to my little chart over here, and I see um, 13 is actually a D. So... Now, this is not a zero, this is a D. I hope it looks like a D on the internet, right? This is a D. So this is one D. So 16, we have the one in the 16's place. 13, we go to the little chart, we see the 13 is a D. So 29 base 10 is actually one D base 16. So as you see here, one plus D plus F, 1 base 16 plus D base 16 plus F base 16 is the same as 1 base 10 plus 13 base 10 plus 15 base 10. And when we add this up, we get 29 base 10. But of course, we have to decompose this 29 into a 16 base 10 plus a 13 base 10, which then in hexadecimal gets represented as 1D because you put a one in the 16's place to represent this 16 over here, and a D in the one's place to represent this 13 here. And so when we do this, our one plus D plus E is a D, carry the one, and six plus one is just seven, and then you're done, and that's your answer. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, shoot me a comment. That would be much appreciated. Have a fantastic day, everybody.